The current second gen Volvo XC90 has been on sale now since 2015. But despite being almost 10 years old, the design is still very crisp in our opinion. This particular example, featured in platinum grey, looks straight up gangster, especially with the black highlights. This variant is called the Ultimate B6 Dark, only one of four variants on sale in Australia. That's because Volvo is heading towards a fully electric lineup by around 2026, with the XC90's replacement, the EX90, expected to land down under in around 12 months or so. All XC90s in Australia feature all-wheel drive and all ride on Volvo's SPA platform. This layout was designed from the outset to accommodate hybrid technology, and as such, the B6 uses a mild hybrid system. As part of the ultimate dark pack, you get these massive 22-inch alloy wheels. They are a bit too big for any sort of off-road driving, wearing thinly spread 275-35 tyres. But these rims do help to accentuate that awesome exterior. Matching up nicely with the design is this stunning interior. Even after all those years, it still looks so fresh and modern. The tablet-style touchscreen runs full Google services, so you can just say, hey Google, to prompt pretty much any command. The crystal gear shifter is very bling, while the soft white wood trimmings add a certain Swedish charm. And then you have these excellent seats. They are so comfortable and supportive. You could easily take this vehicle for a long road trip and step out feeling relaxed. Passenger space is great, as you'd expect from Volvo's largest vehicle, with plenty of headroom and legroom in the front and back. Middle row passengers are treated to climate control and outer seat heating, with vents not just on the back of the console, but also on the B-pillar. Access to the third row is pretty easy, but you still need to do some climbing, as per usual for a seven-seat SUV. Legroom in the very back is okay for under-average height individuals, but probably a bit cramped for taller adults. Headroom is impressive though, and the seats are contoured to provide some lateral support. Up at the back, the boot can be expanded to provide up to 1,868 litres. Even with the third row up though, you still have 302 litres to utilise. Some hooks on the wall and a 12 volt socket add convenience. Under the bonnet, the B6 system consists of a 2 litre turbo petrol 4 cylinder, running mild hybrid technology and an electronic supercharger, according to local specifications. This test vehicle also sounds like it has some kind of sports exhaust fitted, as it produces a lovely note, and even pops between the upshifts. Performance is respectable for its power output and its 2-ton weight. This is what it goes like.